Hello, hello. Happy Sunday. I hope that your day has been going extremely well. I hope that your weekend has been well. It is such an honor to always be asked to share my story on this platform because everyone has a story that should be told, that should be heard. And it's just, our stories go on and on and on and there's not one story that's just like another. And so it's always intriguing, I know for me, to hear other stories and it's always an honor to be asked to share my story. So I'm gonna wait a couple of uh, moments for some people to join on. And I wanna thank you, Teresa, for asking me to catch you all up on what's been going on in my journey of life. Hey, hey. Such a blessing to be here. I just shared how, how much of an honor it is to be on this platform to share my story again. Um, that stories are so very special and unique tailored to each and every one of us. There's not one story that's like the next. So just as much as I love to share my story, I love to hear the stories of others as well. So I'm always excited, always honored when you ask me to come onto your platform to share my story. So um, I know you said the last time that I shared my story was 2019, July. And, oh man, that seems like so long ago because 2020, 2020 seems to have been a very, very long year for us all because of so, of course, the obvious COVID-19, just something so unexpectedly that's happened to all of us. But the last time I shared my story, thank you so much, Teresa. The last time I shared my story, I basically was just moving into my salon because I had been wanting a salon um, since I was a little girl and I just moved into my 1,000 square foot salon that I had built out for my future. And so to catch you all up of, you know, of not knowing me or I'm Taysha Williams and I've told my story on this platform before. I have one lung, I'm a one lung survivor I had my lung removed actually 20 years ago. So last year, May 20 years, that I was in the hospital on life support, fighting for my life for a month and a half, not expected to live, coding three times, being released at 65 pounds, told by my doctor to just go and live your life. I've never seen anyone come so close to death without dying. From there, going into um, marriage and business, owning a salon, being a hairstylist, um, eventually sitting down after I had got pregnant with my last baby, thinking I was retiring, but then got introduced to um, wellness and what that meant as a woman. Hello, hello, Ann. And what that meant also for something that I can take back with me behind the chair as a hairstylist to share with women how to be well um, physically, like all of the, the different elements of wellness, because it's just not about physical wellness and nutrition, which is what most people think. It's about being balanced with spirituality, um, physical wellness, mental wellness, um, self-love, financial wellness. It's just a balance of things that help you to stay well. So I took that behind the chair. I became a certified wellness coach and that completely blew my business up because there was nobody else in the lane that I was in. So I was doing everything, touching so many women because my, my salon and my business is my ministry. So here we are, 2019, the last time I shared, and I went into my 1,000 square foot salon and it was beautiful. It was just what I imagined it would be. It was very simplistic or the minimalist um, plants, essential oils everywhere, because since I have one lung, I do live a certain kind of lifestyle when it comes to the air that I breathe, the way that I eat, making sure that everything around me is non-toxic. And so that's the environment that I was able to provide for my clients as well as myself. So women were in love with it. 
I actually hired some people, which was something new and something that also was like a learning curve for me. And I realized that that may not be for me to manage as I was a hairstylist as well. So as my journey went on, I, I was in the salon by myself and I was okay with that. Um, I was praying to God because actually the location that I was in, I just didn't feel like it was the right location for me after everything was said and done. However, I prayed about it. I prayed for God's protection and I continued to go to work and be in the salon that I had created this environment. So right before the pandemic, I had never thought I would, people would always ask me as a hairstylist, or do you think about coming out with your own product line? And I was like, no, it's so many products out there. I can just direct you to what you need for your hair. But as I began to do more and more consultations and consult with women about their hair issues and hair problems, I did realize that there was something missing in the market. So I decided a couple of months before the pandemic hit and everything had to shut down to start um, testing out an oil and I then opened Cadence Taylor organic beauty product line with the intent to only come out with this one oil that was a multi-purpose oil so that it could cover everyone their skin their hair their everything I wanted to come out with a hair care line that was toxin free so that you can your body your inside could stay healthy as well as your hair be healthy because it would give great results but I wanted something that was very minimal. I didn't want a whole lot of steps. I didn't want a whole lot of product. But like I said, I started off with an oil. So I think I was supposed to have my grand opening for the product line in April of 2020. In March, we took off for spring break and never went back to work. The kids never went back to school in person. So that was a, a part in my story or my journey where I felt like God gave me what I had, what I needed. Because even though that was devastating for a lot of businesses to close, it honestly was an answer to my prayer. Because being in the industry for 21 years behind the chair, I was ready to move into a new arena um, of my journey of how I could help women that took less off of me physically so that I could have more freedom. How many of y'all like freedom? Like I like being an entrepreneur, you're free. However, if you are a hairstylist or you have to be somewhere at a certain time and you're there all day long servicing, that's not freedom to me. Um, I want to be able to be home with my family and be able to still help people from where I, wherever I was. So when the pandemic hit and I was able to stay at home with my children, that was God's way of saying, okay, my child, let me give you a glimpse of what you're asking me for and let me allow you to create the life that you really want to live. So I've been home and that one oil turned into six products because if I was behind the chair, I wouldn't have been able to have the time to develop, tweak, especially in this new lane of life of now being a CEO and founder of a hair product line. I wouldn't have been able to do that if I would have been standing behind the chair. So, like I said, I'm not taking away from any anybody's experiences with the pandemic, with I know a lot of people being ill and we've lost a lot of family. We've lost a lot of friends. Um, but for me, I always pull the positive from everything because I believe there is always something positive. And that's what God wants us to strive to look for in, in our lives. It's like what's really the bottom line what is the lesson what is the strength what is um what is it that god is really teaching us in that moment so i was like okay i get to rest and i got to develop the product line and it's online it's doing extremely well i'm still learning because this is a new lane for me i'm used to doing good hair and posting and getting clients that's it was that simple for me god blessed me um, for it to be that simple for me as a hairstylist, but in a product line, I have to prove myself all over again, even though I keep saying, I'm a hairstylist, I'm a hairstylist. Um, so it's definitely growing. It's allowing me to be home with my children and it's giving me that freedom. It's, it's that freedom that I've been praying for. It has allowed me to 
create my day and learn how to calendar my day and really spend quality time in the places that need that time. Like, I don't know if you all read the book called The Miracle Morning, but it's really, really, really important how you start your day. And being that I don't have to get up and take off running to work, um, I can create my morning as if I'm already doing what I want to do, which I am. And so just starting off your day, it, it makes a big difference with taking deep breaths, uh, words of affirmation, uh, being your gratitude, uh, your devotion, working out, like really preparing yourself to be motivated and tackle anything that comes your way, dumping out all of the negative thoughts or things that are weighing on you uh, subconsciously that you don't even think about, dumping it out onto paper. So that's the education from being a certified wellness coach. I've definitely been applying it to my life. And on the giving end, on Facebook, I do like hair talks every Friday, something that I can just get on and talk about different things about hair, have people chime in and ask me questions. And then I have a group. And the group that I have is called um, Where Wellness Meets Beauty. And in that group, I talk about all the ways that you could be well. I give tips. I give So it's about hair. It's about beauty. But it's also about women coming to one place to understand what being well is and how to be well. Because as women, we wear multiple hats. We do multiple things. And we have to learn to take care of ourselves. Now, if you don't remember anything I say or said in this whole thing, remember what I'm about to tell you. In this time, in this past year, I actually paid for a course because I'm getting more into the digital side of beauty. I'm creating a course that I'm going to offer to other hairstylists and salon owners to help them basically create the success that I've created in the past 22 years. But in the process, that course is for people who have no idea what they want to teach. And it makes you dig deep down into your journey and into your story to figure out what it is that you should be bringing to the world. So I absolutely love the course. It was really, it was more than what I expected. Honestly, I thought it was going to be a, you know, just a how to, but it was, like I said, deep into who you are, your character and to develop and help you birth what you have to give to the world. So as, you know, Teresa and a couple of other people who asked me to share my story, um, typically my story that I share is about me having one lung. And it's always about, you know, what I went through, my testimony, and I take nothing from that. But what is now newly developed in my journey that I'm going to start sharing more of are the more uncomfortable spaces that I had to work through, which is learning how to love myself, um, sharing the things that I have gone through because that course, it pulled it out of me. It's like, what were your challenges? What were your struggles in this period of life? How did you overcome that? What did you do? And so I was like, oh my gosh, so to make a long story short, what happened, which I didn't expect, is the fact that I've now started on a book. I'm going to write a book, which is people have been saying forever, write a book. But I think they thought my book was going to be strictly about telling about my lung being removed. But honestly, there are so many things that have propelled from the foundation of that testimony because I understand coming so close to death. I understand that there's a sense of urgency for me to fulfill my purpose on this earth using my different experiences of life and how I have overcome those things, sharing and then helping others to overcome the same thing, like um, not really feeling loved by either one of my parents growing up, um, coming to find out that all this time I thought it was something wrong with me when actually it was the fact that my parents did not come to a resolve within each other. And I'm a constant reminder of their unresolved conflict. It took me years and God finally revealed that to me about two years ago. 
on it's not you is nothing wrong with you stop thinking it's you and because of that it's affected every area of my life of confidence and self-esteem and so how many people have gone through life with a um a relationship that wasn't so good with their mom or a relationship that wasn't so good with their father and here i am i had both i've gone through uh, having a CPS social worker, just things that I just totally put to the back of my mind because I'm so focused on becoming and developing who I am today that I just was like, you know, you did overcome a lot. So taking that course really, really pulled some things out of me and brought to memory of why I am who I am today, why I stand for why I stand for what I stand for today. Um, how I've basically raised my children totally different from what I experienced in life because I am about breaking generational curses. It starts with me. It starts with me and building a legacy for my family. It starts with me and speaking life into my children and showing them affection, something I never had. And, you know, just showing them how you connect with the higher power on a daily basis and how... You smile, you laugh, you enjoy each other, you how to develop relationships that are healthy and rich. Therefore, it doesn't matter how much money you have in the world, you just live a life of joy and fulfillment. So I'm really excited about digging deeper into those uncomfortable places because those are the places that God truly wants me to share because those are the places that are definitely relatable to other people. And I believe that's why we all have our unique stories, because parts of it helps us to connect and relate to others. And then you don't feel alone. You feel like, oh, my gosh, I'm not the only one. And she made it. If she made it, I can make it, too. So it's such a blessing. This time I am the most happiest, the most fulfilled um, I've been in my entire life. And I know it's going to get greater from here. I'm not saying I live a life without challenges because I do believe that challenges are there to make me stronger. They're there to make you stronger, of course. They're there to teach lessons. It's just always a reason for everything. And, and it's our place to connect with God for him to reveal what the reason is for that season in our, in our journey of life. So I get to just sit outside and listen to the birds chirp. I don't know. I'm just... I ain't gonna say I'm getting older, but I just have a greater appreciation for God's glory through nature. It just gives me a peace and a calmness, and I'm able to sit still and really, really understand some things. So some more clarity is what I would say is what's happened between 2019 and 2021. So here now... Um, it's been a year, a little over a year. Yes, we do, Teresa. We do find our purpose in the dark places. Yes, we do. Um, and I think a lot of people have because God made us all sit down and be still. And I knew it was for a reason. I was like, none of us can move. God is speaking. And, and if you know he's speaking, it's time for us all to just listen and just watch. And so... Um, since I've been closed, since I've been closed, the salon has been closed since 2020, March, I'm now feeling a little bit more safer. Yes, there is purpose in our challenge and um, feeling a little bit safer to go back behind the chair. But guess what? I don't have to go back behind the chair full time like I was before. I can go back and it just be a hobby. I can go back to use my now whole full product line on different textures of hair and have fun and get content, do a photo shoot. So now it's more of a hobby and I still get to train hairstylists, but now it'll be from a digital platform that will eventually just be on a press play type of situation where there's just a residual um, thing going on. And I'm so excited because now I just get to go do hair one or two times a week. And I'm so excited because I don't feel pressured. God is good, right? So with that, as times get safer, I plan to just pop up in different cities and then eventually different states. So I'll just be in different places spreading uh, my story because everywhere I go, of course, we talk and we share stories. So 
God has definitely placed me in a different arena by just shutting down everything and speaking to me. So that's basically what's been going on in my life for the past two years, just trying to figure out how to um, make the main thing the main thing. And, and really, honestly, my family is my main thing. Of course, my ministry and my work of sharing my story and of doing helping others, but I just really, really, really wanted to do something different with my family and that's really focus on that quality time and that connection and build good memories that I can look back at with my children. You know, it's just so fulfilling to me. Once you know what fuels you or what gives you your energy, your energizers, um, you just keep doing them and, and then you identify with what depletes you. You, you just kind of find your balance. And so I know what my energizers are and I just really, truly, intentfully stay connected to what energize, energizes and fuels me on a daily basis. And so it just keeps a smile on my face when I'm packaging stuff for, for uh, my customers because I just know that I'm just trying to spread clean beauty. I want to keep people healthy. The healthier you are because you only have one body, then the longer you can fulfill your journey in that one body, the longer you can fulfill your purpose for God. So that is my place in the world is to make sure that I'm giving clean beauty and giving tips on wellness and helping women how to learn how to love themselves, starting from within, because I can't fix it just by a hairstyle. Um, right now, I'm located in Houston, Texas. Yes, so that's what I've been doing. Y'all have any special questions for me? When you find yourself, you find... Yes, absolutely. And I'm all about purpose. And, and it's so mind-blowing to me sometimes when I do speak with people and I'll ask them, you know, we'll get into conversation because I believe everyone is here for a purpose. God created you for a purpose to operate and do something that only you can do. And so whenever I speak with people and they have no idea what I'm asking, please tell everyone how they can connect with you. Okay, I sure will. When I'm... um asking them their purpose, they have no idea what I'm asking of them. So it's such a beautiful place, like I said, for this platform to share my story because you all definitely know about purpose and you definitely find your purpose within your story. And so I've actually helped a couple of people do that because they're like, oh my gosh, you're right. But your purpose is right there in your story. It's God connects the pieces and the dots. Um, so Katrina, the name of my product line is Cadence Taylor. Let me type it in here for you. And I'll let everybody know how to connect with me. Cadence. And y'all let me know if y'all have any questions for me. Organic Beauty. That's the product line. And then... He said, tell everyone how they can connect with me. Okay. You can connect with me. I am Euphoric Essence. I don't know if that came up right. Well, on Instagram. I'll just put the salon name. But does anybody have any questions that you may want to know about? And that's the salon. Um, put a website. How about that? While I'm just putting names, y'all. I'll put my, my website, which is where you can connect with everything. TayshaWilliams.com. There we go. Yes, so thank you so much, Teresa. Look, I'm gonna have to get with you. I know you're you write all the books. <laughs> so yes, I have. I actually wrote the outline for it, thinking that I was going to do a course on it, but I was like, no, this was meant for me to write this outline for my book, not necessarily for this course. But 
who knows what the future holds, but it's definitely been a blessing. I've been enjoying being led by God and the Holy Spirit, which is what I ask for every single day. Because I don't know the plan, but God does. So I just ask him for it daily and ask him for to give me what I need for my day. I sure will. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, I'm at home. I did, look, somebody's hair, uh, cadences. So I had my husband pull the chair. I'm in a salon chair with my mirror behind me. So this is my mini workstation for uh, my daughter. But um, yes, but it's been a pleasure. Does anybody have any questions? Teresa, you have any questions for me? I don't see any. Okay. I don't see any questions. You want me to end it out, Teresa? Or do y'all, does anybody have any questions with everything that you've been through? What does your support community look like? That is a great question. Okay. With everything that I've been through, let me just be really transparent. Uh, I don't have a lot of support. I don't have a lot of support. Um, there may be some support. It's just not loud support. So I feel like I have to work extra hard because when it comes to my family, I am kind of like the black sheep on both sides because I, I am different. I do things differently. Um, I don't always agree just to get along. I'm very protective of my mental health. I'm very protective of my peace. And sometimes when people don't understand that, they don't look at it as necessarily a good thing, things they don't comprehend or understand. So when it comes to um, my family, I don't really have a lot of loud support, to be honest. Um, that's why I do a lot myself and I do a lot of the groundwork myself, but I would say my biggest support is my husband. My husband, anything that I'm a part of or do, he takes it on as his own. And he also comes from the same background of not having family support. So we support each other really big. And that's why it's so important to me to teach my kids what family should be. When it comes to friendships, I have very few friends. And I used to, like years ago, want a whole lot of friends because it looks so good. You know, oh my gosh, look at all of them. But honestly, that's not how I'm built. I'm, I'm an introvert. So I'm very um, deep, I'm a deep thinker naturally. And with my relationships, I give a whole lot. So therefore, I don't have a lot of them because I, I would spread myself too thin. Um, I don't like like long phone calls and stuff. Often if I have too long of a phone call, especially unexpected, it'll kind of pull a little of my energy. But yeah, support, I would say I don't have a lot of it, but I've gotten through everything with the support that God has given to me. As you build your platform, my sense that God has that you are building. Thank you so much, Ann. Thank you so much. I feel that too. That's why I, I still get on and I talk and I share whatever God places on my heart because you are definitely right. God will send the right people. Yes. Um, Melinda, you say you're looking forward to learning more about my products. Yes, I wish I wasn't thinking y'all because I, I'm never in the mind of, let me share my products, like showing, because they're in there. But yes, they're all natural, non-toxic. They're vegan and organic. They are for straight hair. They're for curly, wavy, coily, kinky. I wanted a product line that was for everybody. And to be honest, before I created my own product line with a chemist, I didn't think that was possible. I didn't think you could use one shampoo and one conditioner and it fit all. I would have told my clients, oh, that's not true. But I really desired that because I want to break uh, racial barriers when it comes to beauty, when it comes to hair. I wanted something that everybody can benefit from. And my way of actually getting it used on different people, because of course I can't do it now, um, is sending it to different 
friends, friends that are of all ethnicities that I've either went to high school with, they would reach out to me and either ask for samples or I would reach out to them. And so that's how I know, that's what my intent was as far as using it on everybody. And that's how I know that I hit the goal with it. Um, so it's, I have a curl cream that also acts as a hair mask. I have a hair gel. I have two different conditioners and one shampoo. I have a raindrops oil that is the multi-purpose healing oil. That's organic watermelon seed oil with about 18 different essential oils that promotes hair growth. It heals the skin um, like with eczema or any cuts and scrapes because it has melaleuca oil in it, lavender, um, chamomile, just a lot of healing um, essential oils. So no synthetic fragrance, nothing about it is synthetic. It's paraben free. So it's all clean, non-toxic, organic, vegan for everybody. I don't, even relaxed hair, even color treated hair. It's for everybody. And so I love it so much. And I love that it is changing um, what hair care looks like. Because when people look at me, they're like, oh, it's a natural hair care line. And I don't, I'm like, no, it's not a natural hair. Like natural hair is like curly hair that belong to just African-American women. No, it's a hair care line. It's for everybody that desires to have non-toxic um, hair care and that wants to be a simplistic minimalist. Therefore, you don't need a lot of products. So that's a little bit about the product line. Um, if you go to my website that I put in here, it's on there. So you can click and go there as well and check out all the different. And I have a men's line too. It's called William Brooks Lifestyle uh, Grooming Products. And it's a shampoo, conditioner, a men's light butter and a watermelon seed oil for beard and hair and that works on all ethnicities of men as well so that's a little bit about the product line melinda i hope that helped you but thank you so much ann um for that any more questions i enjoyed y'all so much and just like i if you need to reach out to me definitely reach out to me um through that website and i'm there I'll answer any of your questions and we can either do, if you need any of my services, I'm there for you too. I do do virtual uh, hair consultations. I do virtual clean living consultations if you want to detox your home because I am, I specialize in the environmental side of wellness, which is getting rid of all the chemicals that you breathe in in your home, replacing them with non-toxic ways of living that are healthy for you, but also work. Um, so I do those consultations virtually as well. So just reach out to me for whatever you need. And if I don't know what to do or how to get to it, I definitely know I'm connected to someone who does. But if you all don't have any more questions, I don't want to hold you all on here any much longer. But I thank you all for listening and allowing me to share my story and my new findings because I haven't shared with anybody but thank you so much. I will see you all, I'm sure, at another time when I share my story. Oh, thank you so much, Teresa. Y'all continue to have a great and blessed um, Sunday evening, okay? I love you all.